washed hair is never a vibe though, is it? I just had a really tragic moment where I ate a can of cold baked beans or ate out of a can of cold baked beans from the other day. I'm hungry, by the way, I'm really, really hungry and I haven't had my lunch yet. <laughs> just snacking on whatever I can find in the fridge, which is not a lot. And I dropped the beans all down myself, all over my white comfy slippers, all down my cardigan that I just freshly washed and put on. So yeah, it's gone straight back in the wash. Anyway, good morning. Welcome back to my channel. The lighting is a little bit weird today. I'm sleepy. Like it's just one of those like funky Saturdays. Like I've got some weird light hitting my nose. I should not have sat under the skylight. It's not doing me any favors. It's just making my nose look abnormally big but anyway this weekend i wanted to do a little kind of what we eat in a weekend kind of vibe like i'm really starting it off in a very real way with like the can of cold baked beans but i've had a lot of questions on my like fitness routine and diet and it's nothing crazy extensive really so i thought it'd be nice to share that with you kind of in one whole video so as you will have seen i did a little workout this morning and i've said in previous videos that i'm still getting back into that it's very much like a work in progress i'm only on about one workout a week at the moment and i'm gonna ramp that up but i basically stopped working out over i think it was like definitely january february january i was only doing yoga which i then got very bored of one thing i have realized about myself is my brain is very overactive which is fine i have many coping mechanisms in life to help with that but i have found that pilates kind of style workouts are always way more beneficial to me and i like them and enjoy them and do them more regularly because you're never really pausing for too long whereas the yoga pauses i know they're there to help you switch your mind off but my mind does not work in that way and it just wants to wander i'm not sitting under that skylight anymore <laughs> It's doing me zero favors. Okay, better. Yeah, that is something I have really found is yoga is just great for me if I'm in a place where I'm very relaxed and like it's a real vibe anyway. So say I was on holiday or I'd been like off of work for a long period of time, my mind is generally a little bit less racy. But yeah, for the most part, the workouts that I do, I would say they're very much like Pilates style. So if you're looking for something similar, but with a professional to kind of talk you through them, I would say Googling Pilates style workouts is probably your best bet. Blogilates has always been one of my favorite YouTube kind of creators for workouts. I've been doing it for years, ever since I started working from home, like six, six years ago. I really love her. She's so sweet. I have done previous workout videos that are a little bit more extensive than what you will have seen at the beginning of this vlog. So I will link all of those. Nothing has really changed at the moment. I haven't really incorporated any new moves in because like I said, I haven't worked out in so long that there was no point in doing new things. I really needed to even just remember how to do the old things. I basically stopped working out because I found that, and this was really hard for me to put into words. I kind of spoke about this in a previous q and I think it was. It's the reason I stopped working out so heavily is one I just didn't have the time over my busiest period which is around Christmas and I also found that I well I suspected that and this is the wording that I should have used in my Q&A but I didn't have the words to describe it and someone else in the comments described it perfectly is a really aggressive calorie deficit that I didn't realize I was in and that was what was affecting my skin and as you will probably have noticed over the past couple of months my skin is like i just i don't have breakouts like i was having breakouts and it's so so great it was really affecting me i think it was kind of affecting my hormone balance that aggressive calorie deficit and i don't really know the whys but that is what i found so i've been trying to on days that i exercise make sure i eat more than enough and then on days where i haven't eaten so much maybe because i'm busy or the schedule's just gone out the window i don't kind of like push myself to do anything whether it's a walk or you know whatever i need to have that balance and it's been working really really well so i'm slowly introducing my exercise size routine back in and really enjoying it just enjoying feeling a little bit stronger because I was really starting to notice like things you won't really think about but when you're a youtuber you rearrange your house so much that like, you move furniture around all the time for whatever you need to if you need like a clear corner or you need a mirror in your bay window you have to move things around and I was noticing those things were just becoming a little bit harder because I wasn't kind of strengthening my muscles and even though it's not like my arm muscles that I do so much with my core is really important for like everyday life however in terms of diet my diet is very good which is why i think people are confused they're like hang on how do you not work out and you look the way you do and i think it's mostly because i of my diet and lifestyle i have a very small appetite especially more recently due to stress which is just it is what it is and i'm just 
you know enjoying food and kind of trying to not worry about whether i'm getting enough and i also predominantly eat a vegan diet which is mostly because of ryan he cooks a lot and i've just kind of adopted that but also i am like always dairy free now because of my skin if i eat anything dairy it shows up on my forehead and sugar kind of just shows up all around here and here and yeah so because of my skin i did trial kind of like end of last end of last year it was gradually over the summer but more and more towards the end of the year i went more and more strictly vegan and i still dip in and out like if we have a curry i will usually have some kind of prawns or chicken added in occasionally but for the most part when we eat at home i eat a predominantly vegan diet and if it's not vegan then it's always dairy free i also can't eat too much bread now because i did take my intolerance test and one of the things that came back which made so much sense really it's not one of those things that was like oh i never thought that affected me and i never felt bad after that yeast i have a yeast allergy so i used to eat excessive amounts of marmite as well so basically i have minimal sugar due to skin i have zero dairy due to my skin mostly vegan diet and when i started to incorporate those changes into my lifestyle that was when i really found that my body started to change and also my exercise routine changed because i just didn't really need to exercise as heavily as I used to and there was a real point where I was doing both and I actually feel like it was like detrimental to me because I was still exercising as heavily as I was pre-covid when I was like eating out all the time and I ate so much ice cream and sugar and dairy and then once it was all cut out I didn't need to do like heavy exercising that I had been so yeah that's kind of my diet and then in terms of exercise I'm doing like one kind of Pilates style workout a week and then I'd say two to three fairly long walks they're usually minimum an hour long over the course of the week as well that's just as and when i can kind of like get out and you know my schedule aligns with the weather because i'm a fair weather walker i know a lot of you have been asking for us to do kind of recipes and things like that i obviously just don't me and cooking it's not a love affair however ryan really loves cooking but when he cooks it's like a little bit more throw everything in i will link his instagram if you want to go and have a look for certain things because he does sometimes list like what he used but in terms of like the quantities we're not virgos we don't measure things out we're kind of like throw it all in oh that looks like a good amount of tomatoes oh maybe we'll add some more of this like just eyeballing our food rather than like measuring things out however this weekend we thought it would be really fun to show you what we're eating we actually have a hellofresh delivery coming which i'm really excited about some of you might remember that a couple of years ago when i first moved back into my flat moved back in moved in i will link these videos they're some of my favorite videos i used to get hellofresh deliveries all the time and i used to work with them very very regularly and i only stopped because i started going on fresh trips and i forget to cancel my order and the food would just sit in like the reception area of my flat and just be festering and it was not ideal someone also at one point started taking in my orders from the delivery man which was so weird because there was a post room and she once brought the box to me not realizing what it was two weeks later which was like honestly that was very unfortunate but the reason that i had to stop my subscription was because there were so many press trips and then obviously going plant-based i just kind of like have been cooking a lot at home however they have started doing hello fresh have started doing plant-based options so we are going to be trying those out this weekend this video does contain an integrated paper partnership with hellofresh but we're both very excited because ryan's always been really interested in hellofresh and i obviously have done it and really enjoyed it however haven't done it as a plant-based human so i'm very excited to try it out he's like buzzing about it i was like yes you can cook it i'll get it in i'll do the order is there anything else before we crack on oh yeah just because you will notice over this weekend when i show you food i barely eat breakfast i've never really been a breakfast person my mum also like i used to be a breakfast person as a kid you know when you're in that childlike state of just consuming all the food all the time there is a void that no amount of food can fill i used to eat like a bowl of cereal in the morning a bowl of cereal like in the evening and then maybe another bowl of cereal before bed in addition to you know your full three meals a day i just don't really like breakfast now and my mum has never as an adult been a real breakfast person so yeah that's something you, you will not see and i thought i'd just kind of like rather than people ask me like but what about your breakfast or just say no i just don't i don't like breakfast i have my coffee and a chill but yeah i i'm going to tidy the kitchen so that it's all ready for our cooking shenanigans and i can you know happily let you in my kitchen with us without feeling embarrassed i'm also going to try and mow my grass let's hope it doesn't rain and i'll be back with you shortly Well, 
that was very well timed, wasn't it? Which one do you want? <laughs> yeah? What is that one? The spinach and chickpea Moroccan style stew. I'm, I think that one I'm mm. actually, I'm quite excited about the aubergine satay, but this one I'm also really, I'm excited about all of them, but this one I am particularly, it just looks super yummy. And don't you love the fact that we now don't have to be like, what should we have for dinner? We've got choices. Could even just do an eeny meeny miny mo bang. <laughs> <laughs> so Ryan has le legit never seen a HelloFresh box before, so he's very excited. What I used to do was actually like just put the bags in the fridge. That's I'd open them up, check that. them, but put the bags in the fridge and it was oh, yeah, all just, put it back in the bag, right? yeah, because you have basically, you've got your refrigerated stuff in another container in there, but then all your general stuff comes in these brown bags and all of the ingredients are in here. So you don't have to like worry about running out and getting anything. You've got the recipes already and they're really easy to follow like step-by-step -step guides. They also have all of your serving information, nutrition information and allergens as well, which is really handy. I never noticed this before, but they also have all the cooking utensils you'll need, which is cool. That's number 23. Got all of its like non freezable ingredients in here. What are you most excited about? The little things like this. Because like, I would never buy these for a recipe. You know what I mean? No. What is that? I think that one. So, yeah, it's nice because you get to try out different ingredients you wouldn't normally buy. Yeah. And they're perfectly portioned, so there's less waste, which is also good. Because if we did this, we'd end up buying a whole big pack of almonds. So, it's nice to just be able to try it and not have like loads left over. The amount of times we have like tried a recipe and ended up buying like, like how much capers? Pas capers? capers? No, but we have, we use those, but how much pasta flour do I have in my cupboard? Like that huge, because Ryan made one fresh pasta recipe during lockdown and now I just forever have a huge bag of pasta flour in my cupboard, which isn't really an issue, but it's just nice to know that if we didn't actually rate the flaked almonds, we don't have like a ton of wastage. Chef Ryan is packaging everything back up after inspecting it all. These are our recipes for kind of the next three or so days. So I think we're probably gonna do one as like a lunch, but like meal prep it and have it just prepped and ready to eat whenever. We've got the satay aubergine, which I think we're gonna have tonight. It looks so good we love satay aubergine and i just live for broccoli so that one is looking so good to me and then we've got creamy aubergine actually i'm really excited about this one looks so good creamy aubergine curry and then spinach and chickpea moroccan style stew and these are just a few of their recipes they have i believe 36 different recipes a week and it caters for all different like dietary requirements they have the plant-based options they also have pesky options veggie options and then if you eat meat they have loads of options for that as well so this is everything for the curry i am so excited about this curry i'm getting more and more excited about it as i keep looking at it. even though we had curry last night which is ridiculous this is a good aubergine what i like about hello fresh is that all of the produce is like really good quality and where they can they source it in the uk as well which is fab oh by the way i have changed outfits i felt like a real potato in my like slouchy jumper and i'm just not convinced that i'm gonna get outside and do the lawn mowing so i decided to put my loungewear pants on these are black like flared they're lovely and then this like top because it's a little bit bougie but it's really comfy and then i got sent these earrings so i just went real bougie vibes so that's why i look different it's not a different day yeah i'm excited for this i i'm just so buzzed that we don't have to have the what do we eat dinner conversation yeah or who goes to the shop conversation which is a real thing at the moment like obviously they're in the uk if you don't know they're only letting one person into supermarkets or at least in our area they're only doing one person at a time we like going to the supermarket together there's two people to carry things we split normally we split off our shop so it's been a real uh, pain. What are you getting? It's like, what is that? Is that a leaf? Oh. Yeah, I just love that they send you everything as well. So it's not like, you know, we have to be like, oh, we need to go to this supermarket to get this ingredient. Skulls. So convenient. So I've just been sorting out today's reel and I'm just quickly having, because I had zero lunch, it's like four o'clock, having a pre dinner snack of a hot cross bun, which is questionable. And this is the plant based butter we use and i've poured myself a big glass of water as well because i can't remember the last time i drank a glass of water today this is something i find comes really part and parcel of being a youtuber with me on days that i work and this is why it's seeping into my weekend because i'm filming on my weekend on days that i like really commit to fully vlogging not just like a bit here and there i often get so sidetracked and it consumes my brain so much that i get to four o'clock and i'm like oh my god i need to eat something but yeah i'm gonna read a bit of my book now and chill because i'm just there's no way i'm getting out in the garden today it's freezing
So we've just made the satay aubergine with roasted broccoli and garlic bok choy rice. This is what it is looking like. I don't think you did too bad, Ryan. Oh, thank you. I assisted him as sous chef. I just basically make sure the kitchen is clean and chop stuff up, you know. If you want to get involved with this for yourself, that is the recipe and all of the information. You can just pause the screen, take notes, screenshot, whatever you want. Mmm, that sauce is bang. It is very oh. yummy. I did just try a bit of the sauce and it is so good. I'm so hungry, I'm gonna go and eat this now because I've been eating baked beans out of a can every time I felt like I was like getting a bit too hungry, you know? Hello everybody, today it is Sunday. I've just got back from a very, very long dog walk. I feel exhausted. I have done so much today, I literally haven't stopped. Real like productive weekend vibes. So this morning I had an oat milk iced latte with chocolate cookie syrup from my local coffee shop, which was delish because we had run out of milk. I then came home, it was glorious sunshine, so I mowed my lawn and I also did a little bit of gardening. So I'm gonna take you outside and show you that in a second because my veggies are looking, they're looking pretty good to be honest. I also went on a very long dog walk down to the beach. I got sausage rolls. I've taken a bite in case you can see. <laughs> in case you're like, someone's taking a bite out of your sausage roll. It was me. These are vegan sausage rolls. There's this little cafe on the beach in Shoreham and it's so good. So, so good. They also gave me free bread because it's a Sunday and they had to get rid of it. I don't eat bread very often and I know I said this yesterday and I'm well aware that there is then later a clip of me eating hot cross buns, which I really don't. However, recently there has been a real string of like eating hot cross buns because there's a pack of four and They've just gotta be eaten. But I also don't really struggle too much with hot cross buns because you don't eat that big a quantity. But yeah, like loaves of bread are a real rarity around it. Oh, I had a vegan blueberry croissant from the bakery as well, which was so good. That little cafe bakery thing, it is, it's my absolute favorite. It's called like Beach Cafe or something like that. So good. But yeah, it's been a bit of a crazy day. So that's really all I've eaten today. But this evening I'm gonna have a nice like, tidying like domestic kind of evening really like boring vibes clean have a bath and then meal prep so i might try and do both my hello fresh meals the one for dinner so the curry i think we were gonna have for dinner and then i'm also gonna try and meal prep for the week but if not i will just get the curry done i know this vlog is meant to be mostly about food and fitness but i'm growing veggies so i feel like it ties in you know so this is my little veg patch situation. I've given it some real TLC today and turned all of the soil over. The parsley loves life. It just loved it out here even during the winter. The oregano completely died off and is now coming back, which is cool. Yeah, I don't really know if anything that was here last year is gonna make a comeback. The kale has been doing okay. Like this kale is really thriving. I've really pruned it back. It's loving life. However, these ones were kind of clustered quite close together and I feel like they were at a point where they needed to be spaced out a little bit better. So I've spaced them out. Hopefully they will thrive over the next couple of months. Look at this, look at this. If this could grow a broccoli this summer, I would be so happy. Look at that, it's crazy. I'm hoping to have like a full kale farm out of it because I eat it so much. More purple sprouting broccoli. They were kind of behind this one, not getting too much sunlight. So I've moved them over here and hopefully they will thrive a little bit better. But I need to get more like topsoil and kind of give this some real TLC, but just came out and turned everything over this morning. And then also took the mint out of this corner and just put it in that. It's probably gonna come back because it is the devil. It's uh, We'll hope and pray from a little kale farm because that would make me the happiest girl. Oh my god, it's so good. Mm. I also closed my rings today, which is cool. It's a very rare occurrence that I actually close my rings. But yeah, if you're wondering what a kind of weekend day looks like for me, this is it. So this is what I'm going to be making tonight. I'm honestly so excited for this. I really fancy a curry. So this is the recipe. If you want to screenshot it, do so now. So I think I need to oven bake my aubergine. So what I'm going to do is get started with that. And then I might do a little bit of like cleaning and all of that whilst it's roasting. And then I'll carry on from that. I really feel like I have my own cooking show right now. <laughs> Oh, one thing I did forget to tell you guys when I was showing you my veggies is I also have rhubarb growing, which I'm so excited about because it like died off last summer. Last summer? Some point last year, it died off and I wasn't sure if it was gonna like thrive or not. You know when you just don't know what stuff does at certain times of the year and you're like, is this gonna come back? Or did it just not like it here? It's nice to put with desserts, but it's also like a nice little thing that I can like snack on when I'm hungry. That is my main aim for my garden is I don't really care about, you know, having nice flowers. But if it could just be one big giant outdoor snack fridge, that would be great. Do you want like a gardening vlog? Like when I finally get my garden like fully ready, like I tend to it, I attach it up over the winter, but I don't do a lot. So when I do my like official like spring 
revamp my garden spring clean <laughs> do you want to see it let me know okay preheating my oven i'm gonna put you on a time lapse because this is gonna be really boring Just thought I'd interject. I'm well aware I need a new chopping board. If anyone has any good recommendations, actually, I would love to know. chop and peel the potato which means one thing I get to make my potato chips best bit about peeling a potato okay so this is something Ryan and I do all the time it's so simple I mean it's probably not groundbreaking and a million people have probably done it I'm not very good at peeling potatoes but it actually works in my favor because I take too much off the potato so what we like to do is make them into chips peel the potato take the skins they've all been like washed i always wash my potatoes and then put them on a baking tray on some like baking paper olive oil salt pepper if you've got some nando salt like basically any seasoning you want slash like use it it's great tastes so yummy and just stick it in the oven and i just eyeball it i don't really know like how long it takes probably about 10 minutes i do it on quite a high heat i pretty much exclusively cook everything on 180 to 200 yeah literally just stick it in the oven eyeball it until you think it looks like your desired crispiness thank me later but yeah i'm gonna put those aside i'll probably do that a bit later because they literally take about 10 minutes and i'm not hungry for them right now anyway back to the montage so hello fresh is obviously minimal waste anyway but for everything else I have a composter. Yeah, I actually said no need to peel the potato on this instruction. I don't rate that personally, so I've adapted this ever so slightly. And also, it's an extra snack this way, so I'll take it. Post the card through the door. That dog amazes me every day. You know, I think we should contact the media because we have a very talented dog. Like, someday she can't drop half onto the bed by herself, but today she managed to write me a Mother's Day card. And I just think she's such a talent. The world needs to know. perfect little portion if you're like hungry but you're you're about to eat dinner you know oh my god they're so cool they're so good So I wasn't planning on meal prepping this meal, but I decided to do a little bit of rice. Just a really fancy rice, and it's ended up stretching a little bit further than I thought. So I have unintentionally ended up meal prepping this meal. How cute are these containers, by the way? I got them off Amazon. I just love them so much. They're so cute. And they've kept so well. I literally use them daily. I love them. How was your dinner? Was it good? Did you enjoy it? Just for the record, Nala does not eat plant-based. Though she is on a bougie, clean, raw food diet. My cheeks are so red. I don't know if you can see on camera. This always happens when I cook. I get really hot and then really blotchy. I'm ready to eat. I'm so excited to eat this. In the time I've been like letting this simmer as well, I did let it sit for longer than 40 minutes because when it comes to curries, chili, I just think the flavors get really intense the longer you leave something. So I have really left this to simmer. I've probably been cooking for like maybe an hour and a half in total, but literally 
literally just, that's just because I left it to simmer and in that time I went and cleaned the bathroom it's had it's like preliminary scrub and I'm gonna go back in there in a bit and like really scrub it and then I've also tidied the bedroom I did tidy the kitchen it doesn't look like I've tidied the kitchen but I did so yeah all that's left now is the office which I will do tomorrow because that is monday's problem morning everybody another day another all black outfit this really shows the kind of person i would be if i didn't make fashion content on youtube i would wear black outfits with gold jewelry all the time and call it a day it's literally been the same kind of vibe the whole weekend just with varying different levels of makeup but i have just been to the shop basically one or two mondays a month when i have a clear schedule i'll take about an hour in the morning and go and get nala's dog food i like to stock up because it's frozen and the shop is right next door so i do a little food shop as well and it's just one outing it's nice and easy so i thought i would show you what i picked up it's not a huge shop but it'll get us through the rest of the week we obviously have leftovers from hello fresh we still have the last meal to cook which is the moroccan stew which i'm really looking forward to but i'm really looking forward to doing a green cheesy pasta bake i basically make a pesto fresh pesto and i mix it with avocados and then also great courgette into it and the courgette kind of gives it a really like cheesy texture so you don't have to add cheese if you don't want to which of course i do i got some broccoli as well so we've got spinach and kale which i also add in basically i throw as much veggies as possible into the green cheesy pasta bake i got quite a few courgettes because i just love using them for everything i got a big pack of tomatoes as well because i'm gonna do the tiktok feta recipe this is the vegan feta i use i really like it i also picked up the epic mature bio life because it is the best not so melty though so this will just be used for various other things i already have the applewood cheese which melts incredibly well in the fridge the applewood is what i use for the green cheesy pasta bake i probably won't have time to do a full recipe with you today because i feel like this video is already very long but i'll do a little rundown of my green cheesy pasta bake in the uh, info box or i might see if ryan wants to do that for his Hungry Curly account because that would be a really good one and something we could do together which would be quite nice. I think he's actually filming like a cooking YouTube video today which would be interesting. If it's up by now I will put a link to it in the info box. I'm excited for that. But anyway, Ryan's YouTube aside. I also got some strawberries just because I felt like treating myself. I haven't had strawberries. I don't really eat fruit. I haven't had strawberries in ages. I got some little snacky bars because i've been feeling really snacky recently this is the pasta i like to use at the moment for the green cheesy pasta bake it's a little bit bougie but i really love the shape of this i like to use like really fun shapes for pasta bakes i also got these vegan pizzas because ryan really likes them and i just know that there'll be a day this week when we both can't be bothered to cook and then i got some amazing desserts this is one of my favorite little i believe this is yeah plant-based dessert i love this it is so yummy and then i also picked up one of our favorite vegan ice creams the ben and jerry's is also great but we really like juice as well and then i saw this one look at that vegan chocolate cookie dough brownie i'm excited to try it. i haven't seen that one yet and it's one of those like low calorie ones which is going to be interesting and then finally i stocked up on oat milk because it was on offer for a pound and i go through it like nothing else so yeah that is my little shop which should take us up to the end of the week roughly so this is the cheesy pesto pasta I was telling you about earlier. Ooh, I used a bit too much pasta today, so it actually would have been greener if I hadn't been so greedy. Are you excited? I can't wait. <laughs> Ram wants to show you his eyebrows. There we go. Do you remember the Cadbury's out there? Yeah. worked out there's actually six portions of your five a day in this but yeah that is going to be it for this video i hope you guys have enjoyed seeing roughly what i eat in a weekend i'm gonna call this yeah i hope you enjoyed this let me know if you want more videos like this and i'll see you guys again very very soon love you bye tell them you love them love you bye <laughs>